When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When life gives you a swollen, infected finger, well, you do one-handed bow drill. Okay guys, so basically everything's gonna be the same setup as regular bow drill. I've got my hearth board, my fire board, my spindle, my bow. The only difference is instead of having my regular bearing block, I've got this piece of, this longer, heavier piece of wood. And what I've done is drilled a bearing block into this. <clears throat> it's got this convenient Y on it that's gonna help stabilize it. And I'm actually gonna put this under my leg to control downward pressure. That Y is gonna help stabilize, but I'm also gonna take my foot and kind of hold down here to hold all of this still. Okay, so the real bummer with this is that my right hand is the one that is infected and swollen. So I'm gonna have to bow with my left hand, which is something I've never even tried before. But I'm gonna do it for the first time on this video. So <clears throat> we're gonna set our, our piece of uh, bark or leaf or whatever you wanna catch your ember with under here. I've got to think backwards from how I normally do a left-handed bow, which is really weird. So I'm gonna pop that in place, and now I'm just gonna take my piece of wood, lock that hole in, and get this good and stabilized. Hold it in place with my foot. Make sure that everything is good and leveled up. And I can control my downward pressure with this leg. So bowing with my left arm is really awkward. Try to get those full strokes. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let that smolder for a minute. Consolidate that ember. I got lucky and got an ember when I did because this was starting to to rise up uh, on my spindle, so I was about to have to resituate and start over. Hopefully, if you get in this situation, uh, it's your non-dominant hand. I'm actually left-handed, but I do everything else other than right with a pencil. I do everything else right-handed, so it's really kind of awkward. So we'll let that smolder for a minute. Our bird nest. Over to it. Carefully. Dump that ember in there. And start getting some air to it. And the more this smokes, the more air I'll hit it with. And there we go. So that's a little different technique. Um, I've, I've taught guys to do it under their leg before, but never with one arm, and normally they're bowing with their dominant hand. So you can do it with under your leg easily, if you can't get in a kneeling position, you can sit and you can hold your bearing block and put it under your leg and use that for downward pressure and stability. But it's it's a little different if you don't have your hand to grip that thing. Okay, so you're, unless you have a really long spindle where you can clutch it pretty tight with your knee, 
you're gonna have to find some way to stabilize that. <clears throat> so there's two things you can do. You could either do what we did with this bigger stick that's gonna hold weight and a little bit of stability, or you could increase the length of your spindle and get it just perfect to where you could grasp this and still get that stability. But then you're gonna limit yourself on your bowing range if you're not careful. So this is just one way. I've seen a lot of different really cool ways. Um, but you guys play around with this. Come up with your own methods. Let me know what you think. And hopefully you guys will follow along and subscribe. Because we're going to have a lot more really cool videos coming out. So thanks for everything guys.